Hey guys, this is the common show for how to wirelessly stream YouTube to your television. You can click here to watch the video. Oh, I think I'm about to throw up. The nut has spoken. I don't know if I like being called a nut in that context. I much prefer it in terms of tinkering. Wait, that just sounds awkward too. What idiot would use the name Tinker Nut, weirdo? Or use Tinkernut's TV station tutorial. Well said, sir. Why didn't I think of that? I just connected a 15-foot HDMI cable to my TV from my computer. Yes, but that's not wireless. 25-foot HDMI to your laptop? Not wireless. It's called HDMI. Easy peasy. Nope. All you need is a simple HDMI cable. Still not wireless. If they use a wireless keyboard-mouse combo, it is, right? Yes, but then with a $10 HDMI cable and a $30 wireless keyboard and mouse, buying a Chromecast would be a cheaper option. Well, then your solutions aren't either, right? Connecting a Raspberry Pi is pretty much like connecting a computer. Okay, the whole point of the video is to show you how to set up a wireless streaming receiver that you can connect all of your devices to. If you just connect your laptop to your TV, you're not making a wireless receiver. You can't then connect your tablet or smartphone or other devices to that. I'm pretty sure this concept isn't that difficult to understand. If it is, then feel free to ask me what I mean instead of offering arguments that have nothing to do with the point of the video. Then your attempts to make me look stupid might actually succeed instead of backfiring. Do you watch Leo Laporte? Yes, ever since his tech TV days. If you love technology and you consider yourself a tech nerd, you should definitely be watching his channel at twit.tv. What if my TV doesn't have HDMI? Then you're pretty much limited to the Raspberry Pi, which not only has an HDMI output, but also has an RCA composite video output. How do you make it more dumb? How do you make a dumb TV even dumber? Just punch it in the head a bunch of times. That's what happened to me. Think. Why do you have very long gaps between one video and another? I know that the actual tutorials come out about once every two weeks, but given that each video requires research, testing, scripting, storyboarding, animating, rendering, and uploading, it's hard to make it any sooner than that. However, I'm trying my hardest to find ways to post more videos more often. And I have an idea that I wanted to get your feedback on. I'm thinking of doing more simple videos that I can put out weekly, and then once or twice a month, posting a video of one of my big projects. For instance, if I could do a couple simple videos, such as why 1080p is important on smartphones, and why SSD is better than HDD, then I could focus more time on doing a Raspberry Pi cluster computing tutorial. Instead of making you guys have to wait for it, you could get three videos for the price of one. So in sum, you'd have two simple videos followed by a more in-depth video. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Alright, thank you guys so much for all of your many comments, and I will see you guys next week.